Now he's kind of protecting his scarf. You got to give them back their scarf, folks. We have a scarf laying on the floor. We, ha we have a scarf laying on the floor. That's a Get it up off the floor. up off the floor before somebody breaks their neck. Yeah, bring it all the way down to the jump ropes if you so she can be with us and not away from everybody. Alright, let's go back down. Stay going side to side. We're going to face forward. 
jump over and back, over and back. You're gonna do that ten times. Ready? Go. Just like this right here. Fresh on you mess up. Carry her chair down, please. And um, Bo, go get you a, a chair out of the closet. You can participate in this one. There should be some chairs in that corner closet. Or you can stand up if you want to stand up. Behind your lesson. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. You should be practicing this too. Okay. Yeah. Your arms are perfectly healthy. <laughs> it's just the leg that's messed up. Y'all are in kindergarten now. Be big kindergarten kids. Got it? Let's go. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Down like we do, then we're 
going to go all the way around for a six count, like that right there. Doesn't matter, either side is going to go right or go left, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you do a six count right there. That's what we're going to add in now. Ready? One, two, three, four, start. Kids don't care, you know. Y'all should stop. You, should, you need to think like a little kid. They don't care. <laughs> all right, let's start all the way over again. We're going to go from the top here. Ready? Start now. One, two, three, four. Oh, I messed it up. <laughs> all right, here we go. Here we go. Start again. Start again. Ready? Go. Oh, I love the freestyle. That's it. Some of you do look like you're in kindergarten. All right, now what we're going to do is, that was a good job with the routine right there with the music. Now what we're going to do is, is we're going we're to throw the scars. We're going to hold it like a ghost. Everybody hold one in your right hand, just like this. All right? We're going to throw it. We're going to let it get as close to the ground as we can get it, and we're going to grab it. See how many of you can do that? Close to the ground as you can possibly get it. Before it touches the ground, snatch it. Oh, that's so challenging. Once you go with the right, now we're going to go with the left. Okay. Pretty easy progression. Everybody should get down with this. Now what we're going to do is, is, with our right, we're going to start bouncing the scars on different parts of our body. So we're going to go shoulder first, so it's like this, we're going to land it on our shoulder. We're going to do that three or four times. Once you feel comfortable with your shoulder, then we're going to go elbow, like that. Once you feel elbow, we're going to go knee, then knee to foot. Everybody got that? Everybody need any help? Oh, soccer player there. Look at that. Okay, now that we have that done, we're going to grab this. 
this score. So now we're going to add a third one. We're going to add a third one. We're going to put it in our left. Two in our left. Your dominant hand, whichever your dominant hand is, you can hold the two or the one, whatever you feel more comfortable doing. So you're going to hold it like a ghost. First things first, you're going to throw this one across, so you're going to throw, 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 catch, let it hit the ground. So you're going to throw, throw, across your body from your right to your left, from your left to your right. So you're going to throw, throw, catch, catch, and let them hit the ground before we start anything else. Throw, throw, catch, catch. So throw, throw, catch, catch, and let them hit the ground. Some people juggle with something besides scarves. Do they not hear that? You know, yeah. some will be able to pick it up quickly. Some will not. There's, there's four different skill levels in the class. Do you see? Yeah. But you keep them all busy by letting them change. I have softballs. I have juggling pins. I have anything that you need to challenge them. Okay. If you need to challenge them. But if not, just be able to juggle well. Throw, yeah, they don't throw, catch, 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 so right here. Everybody understand that? One more time. Okay, we're going to have two on our left and one on our right. We're going to throw, throw, catch, throw, catch it to my body. <clears throat> You just switched your, uh, your, your, are you doing cascading or sk yes. showering? So you just went into showering. Showering is where you only throw with your right hand. So do, maybe uh, anybody, let, why don't you ask one of your students to demonstrate? Talk them through it. Demonstrate how to cascade. Who feels the best about cascade after what we just did? Feel good about it? Look, yeah. Hunter is cascading. That's where he's throwing with both right and left. Okay. Right? It's just when you started demonstrating, you, you switched into showering, which is a different type of, of juggling. Draw your X. Draw your X. Your left hand's got to throw as well as your right. Hey, Alex, you're doing good. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. And you can go ahead and switch teachers, go take this place. Keep it going, keep it going. Left, right, left, right, lit. draw your X, draw your X, draw your X, keep it going. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Matt, that's not left, right. <laughs> you, got, you got to cross your heart with your hand. Bring it across your body. There you go, there you go. Hi, guys. Go back to the one spark. Let's go up with your right hand. Okay. So now it's over. You're done. What I want you to do is the pressure's on him. So go get your scarves and be a student. For cramming, you get an A. Throw a bean bag. Throw a bean bag. Throw a bean bag. We will learn to juggle. We will. We got it. Mm. All right. Everybody, got any big squats to get up? Drop one, have two. All right, now I want you to go one across your body, the other across the other side. as it comes out. Okay. Okay. He's ready for you over there. He's ready. Okay. Now, grab your third spark. Have to push 
Your left hand doesn't matter which hand. Your dominant hand. Your dominant hand. Pointing your other hand. Okay. Uh, one pinch. One uh, the hand when you pinch in the spark. Thumb and index finger. I want you to throw up. <laughs> throw it up. Cross your body like this. I can't really do it, but it's, cast, it's pretty much cascaded. But you just work on one rotation and then you work on your second, do it twice before yeah. you mess up and then three times before you mess up. Just keep adding to it. There it is. There you go. Throwing it up straight is the main thing. Ah, Throw it up straight. Right. Yeah, like some of your, with your left hand you tend to throw off to the side and it makes it hard to catch. Gets out of your peripheral vision. This is a skills test you must pass to pass this class. If you feel comfortable with the scarves, try and go to the main bag. If you feel comfortable with the scarves, you get extra points if you can juggle three basketballs at one time. Is that the end of the semester? Yeah, it just has a little bit of forearm work there. I, I have never had a baseball player that did not get extra points, so you might be the first one that can do that. Yes. Yeah, I might be the first In fact, Justin can do it off the walls. Juggling three? Juggling three basketballs off the walls. The little kids love you if you can do that. They just love you. But it takes 1,000 repetitions, so you got to practice with the scarves. So practice with your scarves. You gotta get it down with the scarves before you try bean bags. Y'all are getting it for a little while. It'll get easier. It's too hard with the bean bags. Just try two right now. Try two across the body. Yeah, you gotta get it where you can do two before you can add that third one in. Don't throw them so high, Matt. Yeah, throw them high, Matt. Th All right, no. Use your peripheral vision. I have tennis balls in the closet, and also have baseballs and softballs. But the, and I have juggling pins. Jug, actually, juggle pins. Oh. oh. All right, now we're going to switch over to column jumping. What you do is take uh, one bean bag and the hand with okay, two yep. bean bags in it. You throw one up in the air, throw it like this. You let it go. go. Here we go. go. Column juggling. juggling is hard too. It's two and one, two one, two one. Just that left hand's got to be able to throw straight too. Try it with scarves if the bean bags are too hard. If you throw well, you won't have to run all over the gym. The scarves are a lot easier. They're a lot easier to catch. That's it. Well, you start off well, and then you just kind of lose it in the middle. Oh, hey.
but it you learn your rhythm with the with the scarves. Oh, that first you get that first rotation, you just can't get past that. So we're not going to get to showering today. Uh, we'll have to do that another time. Everybody, give me the stars. I'm actually going. Yeah. You know, if you tell them, you know they're going to thro start throwing things around if you let them. Do, do you think it's a good thing to let kids throw the bean bags back to the basket? Somebody's going to get hit in the head before it's over with. Yeah. So you have to get them to bring it over. You don't have to move far. We're just going right there with the Chinese jumper. Oh. Close enough. Come on. we got to hurry. We're running out of time. Let's go. Move it. Move it. We could have stuck to the same group that the three that he broke up at the beginning of the class. We didn't need to re-break it up. We just used up time we didn't need to use up. Not jumping, but you can't be the legs. Oh, the, but they've got a group of four over there. Spot children at the park. My dad. Um, let you and I and Luke. I mean, uh, Logan. Can, not Luke. I, I renamed him. I have a Luke. Okay, watch what he's going to do. Okay. Either that or your, or your uh, crutches can hold. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You want to, you step in front of me and I'll get out of the way. Oh. Oh, you got it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Good. Okay, Logan, you're, you're the only jumper. They can't jump, so. What's up, Chris? Y'all know me. Imagine it over there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the soccer player is king. Look, you could all jump at the same time. It looks pretty cool. Can you coordinate your jumps where everybody's landing at the same time?
next uh, activity is called uh, sailboats, okay? What you want you to do is take your right foot. Wait, you got your back to your audience there. Oh, okay, Look, from this side. Take your right foot, put it over this rope like this. Take this foot, hold on, yeah, keep it like Take this foot, take the rope like this, oh, and try to get out of it. Oh, okay? That's called sailboat. Aren't you supposed to jump a few times before you do that? Jump, 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 and then come out. That's a, this is a progression to that, right? No. But since you jump so quick, what you going to do? Did you not know how to shower? Under. Oh, that's it. He can shower. He just didn't know the way. Yeah. Well, I was going to do that. He ran his progressions in about half what he found. Under my water, you're right there. So, I'm a, okay, so we can review some of the examples that we have last time. Remember the Korean? Remember Wait, the I think I'm legal. Come on, so, yeah. 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 Yeah.